Hi. Well, first I'm going to show you what I created. It's this short create with FFmpeg, Image Magic, and PowerShell. And uh, essentially, these are photos I took with my cell phone the other night when I went out for, uh, for family and friends. Um, so I used FFmpeg to um, uh, to basically pan across them. I used Image Magic, actually both to resize the images and to you know create these uh, captions on transparent backgrounds, and then. Uh, you know, PowerShell is how it sort of uh, processes all the files together. And uh, now I'll take you into the code of, of, of how I did this. Uh, again, let me point out that this was created totally using uh, the command prompt. And what I mean by the command prompt is this thing here. When I took all these photos here, um, coming from my cell phone camera, so I, I took them on my Android, um, they uploaded to Photos Google, then I downloaded them from there. And then I put them in a uh, directory uh, where uh, it's right here. So you can see I picked out like nine of the files that I like the best or photos I like the best right here. And then the uh, first thing that I did um, is I needed to resize them. Uh, so I'm going to go to that script, this, which I, I, I named them all numbers to make it easy for me to remember the order they, they're in because, you know, uh, uh, you know, a few weeks from now, I won't remember any of this. So, um, uh, First, I get the you know the path right here, uh, and then I'm going to actually scan in all the uh, JPEGs. Uh, then I do that file uh, in files, and this is just right host just to see what I'm doing. Now I don't want to look at any of the files that have file names less than um, five, or I only want to look at ones greater than five because ones less than five are all the ones I'm ultimately going to give numbers to. So I'm going to take these and create them into sequential number files, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which you can you can see here. So that's what that's saying. So say it's saying, okay, well, if your file, if you have a long file name, which is probably a, 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 an image from your phone, run this command. So this is an image magic command. So magic will take that file name and will resize it. Let's say, talk about this resize x uh, 1920. The full command would be something like, you know, resize. Um, let's just say you want to resize it 500. I'm sorry for the horrible handwriting I have. 500 times 500. So because the first element isn't given here, what it's going to hear is, okay, I know you want the height to be 1920. And because you haven't filled in the width, I'm just going to scale the width to the aspect ratio. I'm going to save it to the script path and then the file number JPEG. So we're going to go look here now at the two files. So if we check on any, click on one of these files and I look at prop, we look at the properties. So now if we look at the details, you'll see the dimensions are 4,000 by 3,000. And if we look at one of these JPEGs that Image Magic created that resized that made sure that the height is at 1920. Sure enough, if we go into the properties and we go into the details, you can see that the dimensions are 2560 by 1920. So basically, force the image down to a height of 1920. And then to preserve the aspect ratio, that width ended up being 2560, not 4000 as it is in the original. So I just want you to understand because we want to pan. Well, well, I'll explain that when we get there. Okay. So that's essentially what that does. It takes um, all these these cell phone files that I picked, and sequentially gives them numbers. You can see it one, two, three, and these are just the the files from my camera resized. All right, on to the next thing. So once that's done, we go into two pan image. To video and what we're going to do here is uh we're going to well first of all we're going to we're going to we're going to go into we're going to create a caption file and we're going to take all the numbers for our files with so nine files and we're going to give them captions and this file will actually run a bunch of things so the first thing we do is take the again this the cell phone images we create them into sequentially numbered images one jpeg two jpeg etc and then after the pipe, which I'm using as my delimiter, we put in what our caption is going to be. So in our pan image to video function, we open that file, captions, text, delimiter, pipe, 
And for each caption captions, we uh, we take what's the file number, which will be that one, two, three, four, five, and then the caption text. Um, we're not going to use the caption text in this actual procedure. So our command is ffmpeg. Um, let me just make this bigger. Just make it even bigger. Ffmpeg loop one is basically just saying you're using a JPEG and it doesn't have any time, you know, <laughs> length. So just just keep you know showing it forever. We're going to take the JPEG. We are going to use a frame rate of 30, and we're going to use VF. This is video filter, and we're going to crop 1080 by 1920 n times six times zero. Now this needs some explaining, but before I get to that. And then we're going to say frames video 150, and then yes to overwrite. And then we're going to call it the file number. So it'll be 12345, and then panned MKV. And you can see here, so it's here's two panned MKV. And actually, let me just play that for you so you see an idea of what it does. So you see, it's just taking the image and it's panning across it and it's making this MKV file. All right. So I'm going to try and explain the meat of what is going on here. Then this can be frame rates 30, but to do 150 frames. So what's that? This can be uh, five seconds, right? So five times 30 is 150 frames. All right. So it's going to crop 10 by 1920. Now, remember, our image is something like was well, a 2560. So something like 2560 by um, 1920, right? Of a height. So that's the area that's going to crop. Let's say it's like that that big right here. Now, after the colon, what the crop is saying is, what is your x and your y coordinate? In other words, where are you going to take this crop from? And so x would be this direction here, and y would be here. So x equals 0, y equals 0 is right here. Now, what this is doing is it's saying, N is like nanoseconds. So when it takes each frame, the first frame, probably nanoseconds, is zero. So this is probably the first frame in this video is going to be at x is uh, zero and y is zero. But let's say the next frame happens in, and I should have done the math beforehand, but let's just say it's, uh, you know, it's 10 nanoseconds, right? So 10 times 60 means that x is now going to be 60 and y. Again, we'll say zero. So that means that in the second frame, this is the first frame. On the second frame, it's going to start here. And it's going to go here. Right? So that's the first frame. And this is the second frame. And then the third frame would be uh, three times. It would be like 180. Start here. And this would be the third frame. And you can see how it pans across. Each frame, it's incrementing its x position based on the nanoseconds that have passed since the last frame times six. So the six is how fast you make it pan. So if you want to make it a slow pan, you'd say n times one. Um, six seemed good, but let's just say you, did, you thought the panning was too slow. You could just do n times 10, and that would make the panning a lot faster. So that's how this works. Let's go into our... Uh... Okay, so we, we've done that. And just, again, recap. These were our... Uh, phone images. Um, then we created these files that are formatted with a, or resized with a height of 1910, 1920. Then we created caption files, uh, captions for all these, a uh, caption file, a CSV type file for all these images. And then we went and we panned these images by, and I, let me just open, play the panned one again. So we panned the image by incrementing the X on the image as uh, each frame goes by. Okay. Now let's go to step uh, three. So here we want to make our actual captions. So we're going to use image magic for this. And uh, again, we go through the, uh, the caption file. And uh, let me see. And then now we're, we say magic size 800 by 600. So I want to make it I know my height, we know our height is 1920, but we want to make it smaller. So it's 1600 is smaller. And I know my width will be 1080, but I'll make it smaller. So essentially, you know, the image looks, I'm sorry, the image looks like this. And we're going to make our text in here. Now, I could do a lot of improvement with this stuff, by the way, um, but this works for now. It's, good, it's just a start. Again, background none. We want this transparent. I'm using the Open Sans bold uh, font with a stroke of two. 
and then the undercolor is white and the gravity is center position. Now, when you use Image Magic's um, uh, caption, caption, this is important, uh, caption function, it will automatically size the text for whatever size you give it. And Gravity Center basically says just to put it in the middle. So that's why you'll see the text will be small in some frames and big in others because it's automatically sizing it, which is great because I don't have to think about, you know, how to fit lines and stuff like that. It just, you know, just does it very quickly. And uh, so let me go show you some of the screens there. So for instance, this is a, oops, I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, you can take my, you can just see it in these, in these thumbnails. That's what these are, just transparent PNGs with these captions uh, in the middle. Okay, so now that we've created our captions with, uh, caption PNGs with uh, Image Magic, now we want to go put the caption onto a video. So, and this is, gets a little complicated, but here again, we're using our caption file. Our caption file basically runs uh, all of this. All right, so ignore all that. <laughs> you know, our command is FFmpeg. We we'll take the file number panned, and again, we have these files now. We just created them, right? So this might be like nine panned MKV. Again, we're going to say loop one because the caption actually has no length. And we're going to use that as our, our first input. So in Image Magic, each input will get a number or a position. So this is our first input right here. So our first input is a caption. Uh, file, the PNG, and we use filter complex one format RGB A, you need the A for alpha, so it'll recognize the alpha component of the PNG, and then we're going to do this fade in stuff. And so we're going to say, okay, one, now that's the, uh, that's basically the, uh, the first uh, stream. So this actually is not the first stream, sorry, this is the second stream. This I right here is the first stream. Right? So saying, okay, take the first stream, which is our video, and then fade it. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> take one, which is our second stream, but that's called one. This is zero. Sorry. So this is one, but it's going to be called, uh, if you call it in, in FFmpeg, uh, it's going to be this. And similarly, this, it would be called in FFmpeg if you use one of the labels, the link labels would be this. Okay. I know that's <laughs> confusing. All right. So one zero the, is the actually the second stream, which is this one, the caption it's saying, take the caption, put it in a format that has an alpha channel and fade it in. And I'll call it um, overlay, right? Okay, then uh, this uh, colon is basically semicolon is basically saying, okay, now go on to the next one. And the next thing, take the stream, the zero stream, which is the the video file, right? And um, then take overlay, which is the, our fading uh, alpha thing, and we're gonna do an overlay. So this is, we're using the filter overlay function. And we're gonna do a bunch of math that basically says, you know, center the overlay onto the file. And then the T equals time. So we're going to do it for five seconds. Yes, replace it. I'm going to create the added caption MKV. So now let's go look at that. Uh, so here's three added caption MKV. And you can see it's the pan video. Then it took the PNG and it, uh, uh, it faded it in on the video for five seconds which is actually what we know we created this video as. So that's how that works. All right. And then after we have those files, we just need to concatenate them. So we go into uh, we, our fifth uh, procedure and we basically delete our files, text files, which is this. So these can be all the files that we're gonna add together. And uh, we're gonna again use a delimit. And then for each uh, basically file, we're gonna write host write the file number added caption, right? That's our file name into this file name. And then once all that's done, we'll say FFmpeg, um, we're gonna do a con concat 
the input are all the files in a text file. I'm just going to copy them all together into output MKV. Now, since they're all MKV files to, to start with, they'll just, it's easy for it to join that without, you know, re encoding, re encoding, anything like that. So, re encoded, it encoded, it merged everything or, you know, copied everything into, uh, into what did I call this thing? Into <laughs> output MKV. All right, where's output MKV? Oh, here it is, right here. So now if we look at output MKV, here's the first image to video with uh, caption. Here's the second image that were panned into a video and added a transparent caption from Image Magic. And here's the third or fourth one, right? And this is, and then you know, this is how we're done. And this is what you saw on YouTube. Again, all this is done uh, using uh, the command prompt right here. So I'll just run one of the. I'm not going to run any functions, but anyway, I just would just take one of these things and I just run each of these files. So, uh, well, here, I'll just run the scale images one. So the first thing, uh, uh, PowerShell's a freaking pain in the ass because uh, you always have to do this, at least unless you set it globally. Oh, anyway, I need to do that. So I'll run the script. So now I'm going to run this script. So I'm going to run S1 scale images to 1920 height ps1 oops what did i do wrong here uh that reason name is a command function oh because i need to be in um try to no, I'm in the wrong directory. I put I open this in the wrong directory. Okay, so I need to open the directory from here. This is something I tried to. Okay, good. I'm going to need to put in the exclusion that set the policy, and then once again, S1 scale images. This is what I did for every. All those scripts that I just went over, 1920, height, ES1. I'm going to see it listed them, and now it just saved all of them. So now if we go into uh, one of these images, let's go into the properties, and you'll see it was created January 16th, 8.09 p.m., which is right now. So I just overwrote wrote the other ones. Anyway, so again, I, I took all the... Um, how many scripts do I have? Uh, I took these five scripts um, and I ran them in this command box and then uploaded the video to, to YouTube. There was no graphical uh, editor, no Premiere, no Final Cut, no DaVinci, all done using the command line, what I'm calling headless filmmaking. All right, well, I hope you got something out of this video. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments. Of course, any improvements you see, please leave them. And thanks for watching.